Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. I'm Louis Aguirre. Here's a look at the stories making headlines on this Monday. A 15-year-old girl was killed in a deputy-involved shooting on Stock Island today. Deputies say they responded to a call from the teen's dad who told officers his daughter was missing and so was his locked gun. He also told officers that his daughter suffered from mental health issues and was known to make suicidal threats. Police found the teen and say she was pointing the gun at herself and then pointed it at officers, which said they led them to open fire in self-defense. Police releasing video of a deadly police-involved shooting in Davie. Davie officers responding to a medical call Friday along South West 21st Street. Officers say as they were helping the victim, they were approached by Steve Odman. Authorities say they opened fire after Odman reached behind his back and pointed an object toward officers. Three officers are still on administrative leave. An investigation is still underway. Business owners in Miami Beach asked the judge over the weekend to stop some of the spring break policies. They say the curfew has hurt their business, but officials say the restrictions are necessary. And in Fort Lauderdale, there was an influx of spring break crowds amid the heavy restrictions and curfews in place on Miami Beach. Law enforcement making their rounds on foot, ATV, and even on horseback. Fort Lauderdale police say they have made at least 13 arrests. And on the island of Cuba, hundreds of people have reportedly taken part in a rare public protest. The crowds gathering in the streets of Santiago, Cuba's second largest city, as people chanted for power and pooed. The city has recently seen electricity blackouts extend for more than 18 hours a day, causing food to spoil in many homes. Cuba has fallen into a near unprecedented economic crisis since the COVID-19 pandemic. Yesterday's protest prompted Cuba's president to call for peace. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates. Have a great night.